Hey, I'm Espen Croft. Thank you so much for watching. So, you desire a PPG? Maybe a uh, Profit VS? Maybe throw in a uh, Ensonic ESQ1? And um, Waldorf Microwave? Or a Kawai K3? Or a Korg DW8000? All these are digital synths with analog filters. And if you buy all of them, it'll probably cost you a couple of houses and take up a lot of space. But uh, what if I told you there now exists a synth in hardware form, digital, with analog filters, that can sound like all of these combined, sort of? Would you believe I was telling you the truth? So ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Tur from Fred's lab. It has two 12-bit wavetable oscillators, it has FM synthesis, it has a ring modulator, it has a digital wave shaper, and it has an analog low-pass filter per voice, and it has two ADSRs, two LFOs, and an arpeggiator. It also has a uh, multi-FX section. If you also add syncs and a uh, modulation matrix with eight slots, you sort of get a really power package in a very small size. And today, we're checking it out. And you operate it this way. You have four rotary encoders, one, two, three, and four. And this controls the parameters in a grid coordinate system with rows and columns. And with the buttons to the left, you control parameters for oscillators, filters, envelopes, LFOs, and the amp. And since the LED in the first row is now glowing red, I will be adjusting parameters for that first row if I touch the rotary encoders. And that first row is oscillator 1 or oscillator 2, depending on the color of that LED. So by pressing the button, it either turns red or yellow, and I can adjust oscillator 1 or oscillator 2 accordingly. It's always the parameters with black printing that will be adjusted with the rotary encoders unless I press that alternate button down to the left. With that glowing, I will be adjusting the parameters with the white printing. And that's the basic system for operating the Tura. So the layout might seem a little cluttered at first, but after 10 minutes with the Tura, 
this will become second nature. Since the Torah can receive MIDI controller change messages, CCs, I've set up a dedicated controller to actually get a more hands-on, real-time approach for changing the parameters. And this is so much fun. So the way I've set up my controller is that my first six encoders are the two oscillators. The first controller sets the play position inside the wavetable. The second encoder is the level. And the third encoder is which wavetable I will be using within that oscillator itself. And the next three encoders are the same setup for oscillator 2. So now I can do some real-time manipulating of the oscillators and create sounds very fast and very easy. And down to the left, I've now set up encoders to transmit CCs for changing frequency modulation and sync. So let's use the modulation matrix with its 8 slots to uh, allow some animation of the mod wheel to adjust the filter. It's very easy on the turret. Most of the synthesizer's parameters can be animated and modulated through the mod matrix. And down to the right I have the 4 buttons for programming the mod matrix. And by using the alternate button I have 4 more. And I'm picking out the mod wheel now for programming. Check out the light down to the right, it's glowing in program mode. And all I have to do now is touch that filter. And it's now being programmed into that slot in the mod matrix. And the mod wheel adjusts the filter. And you can use the same technique to use aftertouch or the pitch bend or whatever functionality you want to be um, modulated. The Tura also comes with a great arpeggiator and for an old 80s addict like myself, I always welcome an arpeggiator on a synth. And it's also clockable to incoming external MIDI clock. It also has a effects unit on board, and initially I didn't think I'd like this very much, but it's quite usable actually. I think the delay, the stereo delay, 
sounds very good and it's highly usable and most of the sounds in my demo track actually uses the delays from this unit. So it's in the green row, the bottom row, you can adjust parameters like feedback, speed, depth, etc. Very fun, actually.
Well, I've spent some time with this Torah lately, mainly because I was asked to do the preset bank for the synth. But the more I used it, the more I liked it. And even if it can't replicate all the sounds from all the synths I listed up at the beginning, that was just for a bit of fun, it do captures the essence of all of them in different ways. So I highly think you should check it out and listen to demos and see if this could fill your needs if you want to have uh, any of those old vintage digital synths with analog filters. It's a great little synth, a real powerhouse really. So um, check it out if you want to. I'll leave a link for you in the video description. As always, I'm Aspen Croft and I am the 80s, but sometimes I'm 2021 as well. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters, that makes it possible to do this on a weekly basis. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.